Hello Aries and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your weekly reading for February the 21st through to the 27th. So we are into Pisces season. So we'll see what's coming through for you Aries. What lovely energy is coming through for Aries for this week. We have the Queen of Cups has come out for you. This is a beautiful healing, nurturing, loving energy, the Queen of Cups. Uh, yeah, it's Let's see what else is coming in around it for you, Aries. We have, oh, the Empress. We like that. And the Eight of Cups all around your love and emotions and also the Page of Cups, a lot happening on that emotional realm related to your heart. There's something big in here with the Empress. Empress uh, represents, it's Venus. Venus represents love. It represents a big love in your life. The Empress energy, it represents abundance and how you feel that through emo um, emotions and relationships and connections. And so when the Empress comes in, she's giving you a real little boost uh, on those kind of it can be money as well, but because you've got all these emotional energies, it's abundant. It's feeling like abundant in general. So, but yeah, there's messages, big messages coming into you for your heart. And some of those things are about how to nurture and love yourself and replenish yourself and replenish your beautiful heart. And some of them are about letting go of things that are no longer fulfilling you. So lots and lots of big messages coming in from this your heart with this page of cups energy some of you know we can see it's the piscean energy you're now in the water realms the watery realms we can see that little fish poking up it's kind of like surprise so some of these uh messages that are coming to you might be surprising they might be surprise uh yeah you might not might not be expecting it but it's a message for your heart that's coming in and that can take so many different forms but I would say it's really nice to do something special for yourself. Treat yourself. Oh, let's see. Sorry, I'm just going to get these cards. What do we have? The five of shells, hope and readjustment, and the three of feathers, release and recovery. Beautiful. And both of these are kind of like flying insect <laughs> energies around. So we actually have the five of shells is a, a water energy and the three of feathers is the element of air. So definitely there is a sense that I've been able to release a wound, something that has really hurt you this week. And there's a sense of recovery and renewal around that, which is actually really, really beautiful. And to be able to release something that you've held on to that you don't need anymore. So that's a lovely energy to come through. Now we're going to talk to the mythic tarot around this. Oh my goodness, we got the star card. I love this. And this particular star card, this is opening Pandora's box. So this is where you've kind of gone, okay, I'm going to open something up to look at, to look at it. Uh, I'm going, there's an opening and this is it. When she opens uh, the box, all these sprites come out. They're all nasty energy. It's like, bleh. it's like releasing uh, a wound and letting all the yuck, the muck come out and then clearing it. So but after all the sprites leave, the nasty energy leaves from opening something up and looking at it, the star appears and this brings the hope, this brings the renewal, this brings the recovery, this brings the healing that comes in. So it's a beautiful energy to come in with the star and it can feel, be feeling so much more hopeful for the future. It's a future energy, a gu an energy that guides you to where you need to be. So I just think I want to get an Ascended Masters message. So they're all kind of saying very similar things. What message do you have for Aries? But with the Empress around, this is a really great energy because it wants to surround you with love and abundance so that it feels like, and also fertility. <laughs> uh, that's the other thing the Empress represents as fertility. This is Pan, um, the ancient pagan, pagan god of fertility and yeah it's saying that by going through this process it's an incredibly fertile time now I don't know if any of you want to get pregnant or you're looking for a pregnancy in your life uh, but this is a really fabulous time for that um, so it yeah it, it is a sense of doing a little bit of emotional release <laughs> uh, let go of some of uh, some of those energetic uh, emotions that are connected to your energetic your body 
your energetic system. And yeah, it's a very incredibly fertile time. Now, it doesn't actually have to be around pregnancy in general. It's just saying that fertility is something where there is the potential to conceive and create. So it's saying that whatever it is, by going through this process, you kind of uh, opening up to <laughs> perhaps inspiration and a lot of different ideas that could be coming through with this. So, uh, and possibilities in your life. So, this is really amazing, really beautiful energy. And the thing with the the message with Pan and the Empress, both of them are around fertility. But it's kind of like the harvest. You you might be connecting to ideas or seeds that could be very fertile and eventually you know it's expect a great outcome with them with these two energies coming in so let's pull an animal spirit energy to go with this so animal energy to go with this for Aries oh we have dragonfly beautiful and it actually you know you keep getting these little uh <laughs> you know the little there's a moth or a bee or, you know, these little energies here, they're both flying insects. There's all these flying insects flying out here. And then you've got the dragonfly. So uh, it may be one of those weird little things that you might notice insects around. <laughs> it might be one of those. Uh, but the insects are like ideas that are buzzing around you. There's a lot going on in so many different forms. The dragonfly represents messages from spirit. So it may... It shows you that the mind is not going to stay still for too long, but this is also representative of the start of a two-year cycle for you, that some of these things that are potentially conceiving here in this fertile space for you could have a, you know, a two-year span. So that's kind of interesting energy. But, yeah, it feels very much... Yeah, there's a lot clearing up and out, but quite quickly as well. We've got, I am flexible and flowing. That's the other thing with these kind of insects. They do buzz around. They are kind of like um, very flexible. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. So that is a beautiful energy to come through for you, Aries. And that is the reading for the week. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment and take care.